here at Sydney Wells. We're at CrossFit East Nashville, yeah. and here in beautiful Nashville. So, how are you doing? Very good. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Very interesting year for you, huh? Yeah. So, obviously, uh, what brought you to Nashville to begin with? Um, honestly, I was in Memphis, like three hours away, and um, looking for a change in my job. Um, our region is part of Nashville and Memphis, and so it's a really easy transition. And my sister was also looking to leave at the same time. She was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it was just like an easy move for both of us when we both were in Nashville. So, uh, when we first met, uh, it was during games last year when Brooke yeah. was doing it at our, our old affiliate. And, uh, I mean, at the time, it didn't seem like you you are going to compete. But uh, this year, uh, with the Open, you did the Open, and yeah. you surprised yourself? Yeah, definitely. I honestly just see the Open for fun each year, just to kind of like a community thing. Mm -hmm. And I did the Open this year with the same intentions as normally, just for fun. Um, and then quarterfinals, you know, it's a little different. I actually went to Memphis to do mm -hmm. quarterfinals just with some of the, old, the people I used to train with there. And um, did not expect to make it through the semifinals. Um, after the first two workouts, I checked the leaderboard. Like, literally, it was so shocked to see. I think I was like in a hundred or something. And I was like, oh no, like, I actually need to take the rest of these workouts seriously now and actually try. Yeah. And yeah, I think I ended like 69th or 70th. Yeah, so, it's yeah it was. Crazy. It was really cool seeing your name on that leaderboard. You know, obviously we used to see your sister out there, and then we saw yeah. your name. We're like, wow. I mean, you know, you come from a, a track background, a collegiate yeah. at the SEC level, which is, you know, that's that's an amazing feat by itself. But then seeing that, seeing your name on the board, and uh, you know, you make it on the semifinals. I mean, and I mean, how was that? I mean, obviously your training probably changed. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was crazy. Um, going from doing class workouts, and of course, like sometimes I would stick around and do like an extra bike or accessory or something, but I literally was working out like an hour to an hour and a half a day. Yeah. And then once I qualified for semis, um, that changed a lot. <laughs> I was doing like three to four hours a day. Um, weekends, I would get to gym from morning to night. Yeah. It was awesome. And I really loved it. And were you able to train with your sister and Tia and some of the other yeah. proven uh, athletes during that time? Yeah, so once I made it to the semifinals, um, Ruby kind of brought me on as an ambassador. And, yeah. Um, I got to train with them as much as I could. I mean, I had a full time job. So I would do, I would normally get to the gym around like 4, 4 30, yeah. say to like 7 ish. Mm -hmm. um, so I would get the back half of their training. Yeah. Um, but definitely like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I got to train with them. Now obviously you've been around your sister, you've seen how she's trained, but being around a collective group like that, did you pick any tips from them or, oh I mean, what type, what type of things did you learn from them just, just leading up to semifinals? Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, they all, it was like a joint effort. Everyone would help me out, give me tips and stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, I learned a lot, especially just being around and watching. Mm -hmm observing because they're all such good athletes. So semifinals come along, Brooke ends up and Tia, they end up down the street in Knoxville, Tennessee, not really down the street, but not too far. You end up in Vegas. Yeah. But you you end up going to Knoxville and kind of you got the experience kind of like the semifinal atmosphere before it actually yeah. happened. Um and, you know, got to talk to Brooke and I mean was she giving you tips during that uh, or even leading up to uh, Vegas, was she giving you tips on like how to prepare for the semifinals? Yeah, for sure. My sister taught me a lot. I think I asked her way too many questions every single day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stressed her out a little bit, but yeah, when I went to watch her in Knoxville, it was yeah. kind of like, oh my gosh, this is real. Um, and then it kind of hit me. I put a lot of pressure on myself in the beginning, mm -hmm. and Bert kind of talked me down, you know, just to stay in my own lane and um, do what I can. But definitely going to watch her at Mac was like, Oh wow, I'm about to have to do this and these girls are good. <laughs> yeah. But then you end up in Vegas, so you, it's now it's your time to step up. Brooke couldn't make it unfortunately because she yeah. was you know, I know originally she wanted to go there and act as your as your coach and help you out, but you know, she had the games to get ready for. But uh yeah. you know, talk about that, being in Vegas, uh talk first talk about the experience. You know, 
before you got the witness now you're actually in there you're in those lanes you're in the you're you're in the behind the stage getting ready to go out there how did that feel yeah it was awesome um I was super excited to be there. Uh, going into it, I think a couple weeks prior, I put a lot of pressure on myself to really like perform. I was just really nervous. And then by the time I got there, I felt really prepared just because, you know, we knew the workouts. I had trained the workouts. I had the perfect team who um, was helping me. Like, I don't even know where to start in the warm up area because I've never been back there. Yeah. And so, like, they're walking everything and so I just had a lot of support around me and it helped at the time. I don't think I could have without them. How often was Brooke reaching out to you like sending you tags? Oh messages? my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Like in between each event before the event before bed and the morning. It was so nice. Yeah. So you kinda of had the I mean kinda of explain that experience in terms of you know, before you would run a race, there's kind of that moment of silence, you know, where you kind of just visualize it. Were you kind of using that same mental edge when you were like back in the warm up area before you went out on the floor? Was it kind of yeah. similar or something different? I mean, you have a different experience when it comes to being sure. a competitive athlete. Um, to be honest, I do think I got a little bit more nervous for track. <laughs> so, okay. um, I mean, I just, I don't know, it was super nerve wracking, but being like in the competition setting, um, definitely felt a lot like contracted. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty used to it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, your expectations going into the West Coast, I mean, what were those expectations like? And did you reach those? <laughs> yeah. I was literally like, I'm just not going to get last. I just didn't think that I had had enough time to prepare and I was just really underestimating my abilities. Um, and so then I really surprised myself. Yeah, you're one of the few rookies in, in that field. I mean, you have obviously a lot of depth, and at one point you were in that final heat, um, you know, after a couple of good, uh, a couple of great event finishes. Did you have a favorite event during that whole time in Vegas? Um, I think the Chipper was my favorite event. Yeah. Did you have an event that you didn't like so much? Um, Lilo's Rip, well, obviously the Muscle Ups, let's just. Be real about that, uh, but I knew going in that one was just gonna be like just try my hardest. Uh, Ludwig's rope climbs, I was probably looking forward to the least, yeah. and I ended up doing a lot better than I expected and liking the event. Yeah. Not to rehash, but you talked about the, the muscle ups. I mean, was that kind of just like a, a sobering moment, you know? I mean, you know, having everyone there. I mean, everyone talks about that, you know, you don't want to be last on the, on yeah. the, on the floor, but, <laughs> but you get the loudest cheer. But I mean, can you talk about that moment? I mean, I mean, did that motivate yeah. you to just keep on going, or did it frustrate you even more? Yeah, I mean, like when I qualified, I had never really even done muscle ups yeah. before. Three weeks before, I had to go to Vegas and still couldn't get any. So even just doing some was still an accomplishment. And I knew kind of like <laughs> I can't get any worse than this, so it can only go up from here next yeah. year. Well, well, you really did. You did your best out there, and everyone, everyone's pretty happy about that. Um, so we move on to the games. Obviously, I mean, you had a great finish. Obviously, at, the, at your first semifinals of rookie, you know. Yeah. And then you go on the games. You're going there to root on your sister. Um, you know, she was doing really well, and then she had, you know, unfortunate accident. I mean, can you briefly talk about like what I mean, how that made you feel watching from the stands, and then you know, the kind of support you're giving her after you know now. Yeah. Honestly, it was probably like one of the most dramatic things I've ever been a part of, just seeing that from like being so far away, I can't get news about yeah. it. So like me and my family like run down there and we're there for her when she gets out. She handled it really well. I think she was more upset about not getting to finish competing more so than the injury. But um, she's in really good spirits. She knows that she has a really good team of support behind her. So. I mean, yeah. I think um, her elbow had been bothering her for a while, so of course, like, this is really bad timing, but at least now, maybe it'll get better. Yeah. So she's obviously got a long path, but hopefully not a long path, but yeah. but you, you're, you're healthy right now, you're training. Um, are you looking forward to her, maybe, when she comes back, maybe acting as your coach? And <laughs> are you looking forward to that, or are you kind of like, no, step back, let me, let me get coaching from the... You know, Shane and the real coaches here? Or? No, I love any advice that she gives me. That's we good. honestly have a lot of the same weaknesses, mm -hmm. so she can help me, like, 
She's like, this is, I used to do the same thing. This is how you can fix that. So I really value everything that she gets to say. I do wish that she can come back and train together because we never really got to train together besides right before skating finals. It was super fun. So yeah. I'm excited for her to get back into it, which it won't take that long. No, obviously. So let's talk about the upcoming season. Uh, we have an off season round. Do you do any plans uh, competing at some of these off season uh, competitions? Maybe get some more competition in, in, under your belt. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing the beach crawl. It's a uh, September 24th, I think. Okay. I'm doing individual and team. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think Friday, Saturday's individual, Sunday's team. Mm -hmm. Um, it's kind of just for more experience. Sure. I'm not feeling like the best shape ever right now, but it's. Fun to like get back into training, and training for something. Yeah, gives you a little bit more motivation, makes it more fun. So it'll be fun to go there. Um, after that, I'm not really sure. I'm sure I'll end up doing water so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then you have the then you have the open. So now <laughs> yeah. you you have these expectations. Now you have you know you yeah, did really well. Really now nice. now now you know what are your goals for next season? Yeah. Um. I mean, obviously, like making. Games is one of my goals. I don't know the timeline for that. Sure. I don't know if it's going to be next year or the year after that. Mm -hmm. um, I know it takes a lot of hard work. I see that first game every yeah. day. Uh, so just um, a lot of improvement and trying to make that process as quick as possible. Yeah. Well. I know. He, I mean, all our fans and us at Morning Chaka, we can't wait to see you up on the leaderboard Thank and you. you know have a great season. Thank you.